Hi guys, I hope you are all enjoying the Bitcoin ride. Uh, it just went up to 600 euro, about 700 US dollars uh, in the past month, past two weeks, three weeks. Uh, it uh, came from um, 400 dollars or so, uh, 350 euro. So yeah, really, really great. Um, uh, NXT uh, didn't didn't uh, well just and, and many other coins just uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the ones I invested in uh, do as pre as I have predicted they continue to drop versus Bitcoin um, uh, but in fiat they keep their value um, and um, yeah. Uh, but there are some other altcoins that perform very well and even uh, continue to go up versus Bitcoin or keep their value versus Bitcoin. Um, this has been a new trend since the beginning of this uh, year 2016. We're now half a year in, six months in. Um, and that's a new phenomenon and that didn't happen in previous Bitcoin bubbles and that uh, altcoins would... Uh, would uh, go up uh, before Bitcoin peaks out uh, versus Bitcoin and before Bitcoin peaks out so 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 that just shows weakness uh, of Bitcoin Bitcoin is also continuing to lose market share versus uh, altcoins in general um, I think it uh, was 95% and it's now 80% um, so 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 very likely in this if bitcoin goes into a new bubble we see we will see some altcoins go up phenomenally and um uh, i want uh, i but i think uh i i hope that the same happens uh, as in previous bubbles that um even weak altcoins uh, go up versus bitcoin at the end of uh, the bubble um, uh, and for me uh, that will be the time that I sell all my altcoins uh, and um, and keep only some bitcoin also will sell heavily bitcoins and then I'm looking at a uh, valuation of uh, uh, at least yeah five times the old all time high of bitcoin which was $1200 um, so, so I, at least $5000 but I will now not sell in the way up. I will only sell in the way down. So, I've I, 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 I've made a lot of mistakes the past two years, and um, and, and and the biggest mistake I made uh, was to listen to other people uh, instead of my own gut feeling. If I would have done that, I would have invested. Um, more, uh, I would have invested in Ethereum, I would have invested in IOTA and uh, those investments alone would have made up already for my uh, massive losses in NXT um, and um, I didn't do that um, uh, so, so, so I think um, well it's a, an important lesson to learn uh, if you yeah, it's just to trust your own feelings, um, and 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 to choose to take a chance if you're doubting. Uh, it's better, I think, to invest in some things that look good, um, even when you're not fully certain, uh, than to not invest uh, and uh, wait on the sidelines. Um, of course, there are periods uh, that where where we have massive um, corrections and where all risk is punished. But um, most of the time, uh, uh, risk is rewarded, and um, especially when uh, times are um, bad. Um, So, so uh, what else can I say? 
Yeah, I think a combination of fundamental investing, looking for value, um, is is uh, as well as uh, technical uh, trading. Uh, always when I combine these two, I have the best results. When I ignore one of them, I I, I perform uh, poorly or, or I make tremendous losses. Um, so that means looking for something that is uh, looks good from a value perspective. Uh, so it's undervalued uh, in your opinion, but only invest when the trend is upwards, when the downtrend has clearly stopped and the trend is upwards. I've made that mistake with NXT, continue to invest during a downtrend, while well, that really can be very painful as it when it continues to go down because you have continued to invest more in it and so your losses accumulate. Um, but you know selling uh, even when something is overvalued then it's not wise to sell as long as the trend is upwards like with bitcoin fair value in my opinion currently is two thousand dollars but it will never never is something at fair value uh, it will uh, it will uh, go straight through fair value um uh, and is it uh, import is it is it wise to sell when it achieves fair value no because it will uh, it will go to overvaluation but it's very hard to predict how high this overvaluation is and and we are often wrong uh, often we are really wrong in estimating how high something can go and uh, this has a lot to do with uh, the fact that fiat continues to go down in value by five percent per year so a new bubble in housing or stock markets um, will be a lot higher in fiat value than the previous bubble but in housing or in, in stocks it takes 10 20 years for these cycles to go from a low to a high but in bitcoin it can be in only a couple of months or only a couple of years that you get a new bubble but this new bubble will be 10 times higher because it's not only a devaluation of fiat that plays here it's of course an evaluation of a new asset class uh, an important new asset class uh, it's like a, a, a startup company that uh, is able to uh, get um, a big market um, there are strong corrections but um, the new highs will be a lot higher than a previous high so so that's why um, i don't sell any bitcoin currently even though it just went up the last two three weeks times two um no i sit tight uh, till um not till the new all-time high is achieved by 1200 no i sit tight till the the bubble is clearly over till uh, there is not uh, a small correction but there is uh, a new all-time high it's a lot higher than thousand two hundred dollars so five thousand dollars at least uh, but also till there is a very strong correction of not 10 15 percent but a strong correction of at least 30 40 50 percent uh, only then that's a real break in a bubble that's a very strong correction and and in the past often you have had a rebound from that it will go back up uh, people still believe a lot in it but the bubble is over and on that rebound is the best moment to sell and i plan to sell them strongly um, all my altcoins will go out and bitcoin also I will sell a lot and at that point my exposure to Bitcoin altcoins will be like 90% of my portfolio and I will cut it back to only 20% or 10% so sell almost everything um, and sit back and wait for a uh, allez, maybe not 10 20% maybe 20 30% but um, and then wait for a um, bear market to um, uh, not just wait for the price to go down and buy on the way down no I don't do that anymore even though that has been a good choice for Bitcoin it has been a terrible choice for NXT for me so um, what I will do the next time in the next bear market is to wait till there is clear signs that the bear market is over eh? 
so that so that then the inverse process needs to happen uh, I'm not gonna buy when it uh, goes down I'm also not gonna buy on a small correction up of only 10 20 30 percent no I will buy when there is um, when the when there is a when the 200 day moving average has sorry when the 50 day moving average for example has crossed the 200 day moving average that's a, a strong indicator that the market has turned uh, it's not a guarantee at all and eh? this indicator can cross again and and then uh, you need to sell but uh, that's how I'm gonna do it now in the future eh? um, so a combination of fundamental uh, investing value investing and uh, technical trading and also take a chance when I'm in doubt invest a small piece of my capital 5% in something even when I'm not really sure but it really does look good and in the short term I believe in it even when I don't believe in the long term um, like what IOTA for example I did believe in the short term there was a good opportunity and I didn't take it and it, I would have 10 folded 20 folded my capital those are painful experiences that I pledge not to have again so um, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, you are uh, all well positioned for a possible new crazy bull market in Bitcoin. Bye.